Hey guys, the Tamman here doing well, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Weekly Prediction Series. Last episode we did week 13, and today we're doing week 14. But before we get into week 14, let's go over week 13, where I did pretty good on my predictions. I went 11 and 4. Starting off with the AFC, I got all these games right except one. The Dolphins had a nice win over Cincinnati. A crazy ending here with both the Raiders and the Colts. The Browns did win. They looked really good in that game, especially Baker Mayfield with that offense. The Patriots won. I didn't expect by 45 points. They shut out the Chargers and then the Chiefs won um, against Denver. I did get two predictions wrong here for the AFC NFC. First of all, a fun win in overtime with the Vikings. The Ravens did win. The upset did not come true. But a bit of an upset here as the Washington football team beat the Steelers. And then the um, Bills did beat the Niners in a pretty fun game. In terms of the NFC, I got all these correct. Except the Giants got an upset of the Seattle Seahawks. And the pa I have the Packers winning. Uh, um, I don't know why I said the Eagles. So, only got four incorrect. That being the Giants. The Ravens, Washington, and the Browns game. Overall, it's a pretty fun week. After kind of a crazy week uh, last week, it was nice to have a more calm week. As we transition into week 14, which I think is going to be a pretty fun week overall for football. And we're going to start here in the AFC-NFC column with week 14. As we have a Super Bowl matchup from two years ago where the Patriots beat the Rams 13-3. I think this game hopefully... It's more exciting, but I think it'll be at least a fun game to watch. I'll be going with the Los Angeles Rams to beat this um, and win. I, You know, the Patriots um, have had some nice wins. They beat the Chargers and the Colonels, but there's two things in common. They both have very young quarterbacks. And yes, I know for the Rams, Jared Goff is still young, but Sean McVay, I think, uh, has learned a lot from the last time he met Bill Belichick in that New England defense. Also, that huge New England Patriots win last week was due to a lot of variables that are not going to be constant, like the special team mess-ups that the Chargers had. I think the Rams are a better team than the Chargers. I think they have better special teams, but they're a better coach. Also, that defense is looking incredible. Aaron Donald, Jaron Ramsey. You know, Bill Belichick is a good coach. I think the Patriots will hang in there, but I think the Rams will win it on Thursday Night Football and win this Super Bowl rematch. Um... Texans Bears. I honestly <laughs> forgot this game was happening. Um, both teams are kind of in that mediocre put up a fight range. Um, for me, I'm gonna go with Houston. Uh, Chicago's offense has been just very kind of meh. Um, they look very lost. Deshaun Watson's playing at an incredible level. Uh, the Texans, you know, barely lost to the Colts. I think they're gonna rebound after the loss and win in Chicago. I read something that the Texans have never lost to the Bears, and I think that's going to continue here Sunday. The Andy Dalton revenge game as we have the Cowboys and the Bengals. I think Dallas is going to beat Cincinnati. The Cowboys have not looked that good recently. Um, however, neither have the Bengals. Um, I think you could argue that the Bengals are probably the worst team in the NFL. I think the Jets are looking better. Then them, it's just unfortunate with what happened to Joe Burrow. But I'm going with the uh, Cowboys. It's so weird to think the last time these two teams played, it was um, Dak and Zeke's Ricky. I remember that game. The Cowboys beat the Bengals by like 20 points. Crazy how time flies, and we're already in week 14. This season's gone by so fast. Um, a bit of an interesting thing with this Denver-Carolina game. Um, my good friend Jacob was a huge Broncos fan. Um, I like the Panthers a bit, and back in... Um, uh, high school, um, you know, we used to kind of have a fun rivalry. Unfortunately, Jacob passed away earlier this year due to cancer, so he's no longer with us. Um, this is a game that I think is going to be definitely, you know, different without him. Um, so I'll um, just, you know, rest in peace, Jacob. Missing you, bro. In terms of this game, I'm going with the Panthers. The Denver Broncos just look really lost this season. Vic Fangio, I don't think, is the coach for the team. Drew Locke. Yeah, I, I had high hopes for him this season. I really did, but he, he just looks really inaccurate. I think the Carolina Panthers, they're not the best team in the NFC, but they put up a good fight, and I think they'll win this at home. Jets-Seahawks, we have another revenge game this week. The Jamal Adams against his former team, 
being the New York Jets. Jamal Adams has had some interesting things to say about the Jets. I think the Seahawks will win. I think they'll bounce back from their lost, the loss last week against the Giants, and I think they'll beat this New York team with the Jets. Um, Seattle's currently 0-2 against New York teams this season. They lost to the Giants and Bills. But I think this week they bounce back. They beat the Jets. I think the Jets have looked a bit more competitive. I think they put up about maybe 13, 16 points. Seattle maybe goes high 30s, mid 30s. They went about 20 points. If you have any Seahawks in fantasy, if you're in the playoffs, I would start them this week. I think this is going to be a really fun high scoring game here. The Falcons and the Chargers, both teams have not been able to finish the game. Atlanta had those blown leads earlier. Haven't had them recently with her uh, Raheem Morris. And Los Angeles, you know, has a fun offense that's really exciting with Keen Allen and Justin Herbert, but their defense has just not been playing great in prime um, moments. So both the Falcons and Chargers, really fun teams that have just not been able to finish. This is a really hard game to predict. I think this will be high scoring. I think this is the sleeper game of the week. I think this could be a really fun one that goes into the 30s. I'm going to go with the Falcons. I've been impressed with Raheem Morris, the head coach, and I just think that he's done a better t job. I could see the Chargers winning, you know, rebounding after a, a rough loss, but I'll be going with the Falcons here to win it in Los Angeles. So a lot of fun AFC and NFC games. We go to the NFC here with the Vikings and Buccaneers. I think Minnesota will keep this competitive, um, but I'm going to be going with Tampa Bay. I think the Buccaneers have a really good run defense, the D-line, um, Devin White, Avante David, two great linebackers there to help stop Dalvin Cook and that Vikings rushing attack. So I think the Vikings will keep it close, but I think the Buccaneers will win. Could I see Minnesota beating Tampa Bay? Yes, I could, but I'm going to go with the Buccaneers to win it at home. Giants Cardinals. So if you asked me about a month ago, I'd say, you know, Cardinals, Kyle Murray, DeAndre Hopkins are awesome, but I'm going to go with the Giants. Um, for me, Joe Judge has really impressed me with the team defensively. Um, what they did against Seattle was great. And they've had other moments this year where their defense has played very good. I think this is a game where the Giants will win. I think it will be close. But I just think New York has looked really good recently. And I don't think the Seahawks was a fluke game. I think that their defense has shown what they did really well against the Seahawks. They did that before in the season. I just think the Giants were playing very well for Cal Murray. I think the defensive line will dominate the Cardinals online. I could see Arizona winning it. Arizona has just looked really messy recently. And then here we go to the Packers and the Lions. Um, for me, I'm going to go with the Packers, Daryl Bevel, and the Lions. They get their... Um, First win, but the Packers had a very dominating win against the Eagles last week, and I think Green Bay will have another win here. Um, this is honestly a toss-up of Washington and the Niners. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, you have that Kyle Shanahan offense. Nick Mullins did look good. I'm going to go with Washington. I just really like what they're doing defensively, and I think they can play well for this Shanahan style of offense. Last year, they held San Francisco close, and I think that will happen here. Alex Smith and that offense are getting in the groove. So, I'll go with the Niners. And then one of the biggest news, uh, probably the biggest news that dropped in the NFL this week was Jalen Hurts starting for the Philadelphia Eagles, a rookie. As an Eagles fan, I am super happy with that news. Um, he showed some flashes in the Green Bay game, even though they did lose. My prediction is that Hurts will uh, cause some excitement to begin this game. He'll Probably have a touchdown pass, and I think I have maybe it's 14-13 Saints lead. And then I think the Saints pull away. New Orleans has looked fantastic on defense. Top two defense up there with Pittsburgh. Um, their offense seems super effective. This could be a Jalen Hurts-Taysom Hill battle. Um, and I think the Saints probably win this one. I'll say 30-20 maybe, but I think the Saints will mostly win. Um, I'm interested to see how Hurts plays. Going on to the AFC, um, we have the Chiefs-Dolphins. Um, I think Kansas City will beat Miami. I do like Miami's defense, but I think Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid will um, have the answers for this. I do think this will be a game that's decided by 10 points or less. I could see this being lower scoring, potentially. I do like Brian Flores and the Dolphins coaching staff, but I'm going with the Chiefs. If the Dolphins do win... 
that will be a huge statement win for them. Uh, I'm going to the Titans against the Jaguars. Jaguars, uh, they've been making these games competitive. I'll give them that. But the Titans, I, I really like their team with Derrick Henry and uh, A.J. Brown and Ryan Tannehill. Just love that offense coordinated by Arthur Smith. Colts, Raiders, this could be um, a potential playoff preview with Indianapolis and Las Vegas. I don't know who to go with. Both teams, I feel like, are on the same level. They're just very well built. I, I'll go with the Colts. I could see this going either way. I just like Indianapolis' defense a bit better than Las Vegas'. They really struggle, and Derek Carr had some ups and downs the past couple of weeks with the Falcons and Jets. So I'll go with the Colts. This could be a playoff game, and I hope both teams do make the playoffs. We go to Sunday night. This will be fun. Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Um, Steelers and Bills. Josh Allen, Ben Roethlisberger, very similar quarterbacks. Tough, mobile dudes with great arms. Um, this is really a coin flip for me. Both of these night games are right here. I'm just going to go Bills. I think that I like this coaching staff with Sean McDermott, you know, and I think I trust him to keep the momentum going. The Steelers offense struggle at times versus Washington. I think it'll be close. I like the Bills. I think both of these primetime games in the AFC will come down to the last moments. I just think that the Bills are built well to beat the Steelers. Then the Ravens-Browns. I'm going to be going with the Cleveland Browns in this one. Um, a couple of reasons why. Um, the Ravens did look good against the Cowboys, but the Cowboys defense is really bad. Also, for me, it's just the Browns have a better defense than Dallas, and I think that this offense by Cleveland is very effective, and I don't see Baltimore stopping it that well. I think the Browns will win. I think both of these primetime games will be close. It's a coin flip. I just think the Browns match up very well against Baltimore, and I think Buffalo has their momentum and kind of the confidence over Pittsburgh, and I think they match up well. Um, you know, last year, the Bills beat the Steelers. It's a very messy game, and then Josh Allen has grown since then. So that will do it, everyone, here for Week 14. A lot of games, a lot of cool storylines. As we go into fantasy, which I believe I'm in the playoffs in this league. So the Nintendo Yoshi's here. Uh, we have Aaron Rodgers. I like that. Dalvin Cook. Maybe. James Robinson's questionable. Okay. Tyler Lockett. Chase Claypool. Um, Chase Claypool's been really disappointing recently. Um, Antonio Gibson did not practice. That would be a good start. Okay. I'm good with Cooper Cup. Dolphins defense. Um, I'll probably get a new one. Harrison Butker, okay. Mike Gesicki, he's been nice. Tyler Lockett will start against the Jets. I just have a feeling this Buffalo-Pittsburgh game could be low scoring, but I'll keep Chase Claypool. I'm really betting on Aaron Rodgers to do well against the Lions. Dalvin Cook, I know the Buccaneers have a great run defense, and I didn't mention that. I just do like, you know, I, he's just a focal point of that offense. So I don't think he's going to have like a crazy game, but I think he'll be good enough. And we go to my win Eagles win team. Herbert, yes, against the Falcons defense. Nick Chubb, yes. James Robinson, yes. CeeDee Lamb against the Bengals defense, yes. Justin Jefferson, yes. Um, you know, that Buccaneers defense did struggle against the Chiefs, so I'll keep him. Johnny Smith, yes. Michael Thomas, yes, against the Eagles secondary. The Packers defense, I don't know about that. I like Matthew Stafford, so I'll probably do a different one. Justin Tucker, yes. I might want to start Julio. Um, what if we... No. Okay, I'm just trying to see. Mike Davis against Denver. Maybe. Okay, everyone. You know, let's start uh, Rigo Blankenship. I can just see that Colts Raiders game being close. We might have to make some big clutch time kicks. And everyone, I think that'll do it. So I'm in the fantasy playoffs here in my fantasy football leagues. I know that these... Episodes are getting a bit longer, but, you know, towards the end of the season, we kind of see the playoff picture. We know who teams are. The predictions get really fun. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until then, this is Mintaman Darn Love. Take care, stay safe, everyone, and have a great week.